Minister from Shanghai is Evo Nauman, Managing Director at Alex Partners. Many thanks for joining us there this morning, Evo. Um, Look at the Good Japanese morning. car makers first of all. We've got Honda, Toyota, and Nissan all coming out with figures. Mixed story on what happened in the third quarter, but looking forward, it's pretty encouraging, isn't it? Right. Um, I think you're making a good point there. First of all, let me just make one comment on the Chinese data you just quoted. Um, certainly, yes, the absolute numbers were down over 20 percent. However, one has to recognize that um, the number of, of um, days where actually sales were conducted were significantly less. There were five days less. If you look on that, if you adjust for that, the, the drop is actually only 6 percent um, in January. Not nice, um, nevertheless, but not quite as dramatic as the numbers um, may look in the first instance. Talking about the Japanese car makers, um, absolutely 2011 was a very challenging year, um, mainly driven by the uh, Fukushima earthquake and the disruption on the supply chain. Um, for Honda in particular, we also had the disruption of the supply chain by the, Thai, by the floodings in Thailand. Uh, one of their manufacturing plants there was shut down. Um, so they were suffering quite significantly. Um, and it's, I think, fair to say that they will recover some of the lost market share now that the supply chain is up and running again in 2012. Um, however, they will remain challenged um, by the very high Japanese yen on the export side. And quite frankly, um, Toyota, Honda and Nissan are all relatively weak position in the emerging markets around the world, particularly in China, um, and that will hurt um, their overall growth. Interesting how uh, competitive it is. Clearly, you've got a strong yen for the Japanese car makers. That, that does not go away. You've got an environment where people really can't afford to buy a car. You've got the arrival of the hybrid, for example, and the electric car. Innovation is very cru crucial. And you've got the companies Honda, Toyota, and Nissan all vying for top spot. Toyota said they're going to launch 19 models, Evo, in the U.S. They're going to have an amazingly record amount of global vehicle sales. Honda says we're going to stay ahead of our rivals. Who do you think will finish this year on top? I think, first of all, um, as, as everybody knows, GM has regained the crown of selling the most cars around the world with over 9 million units, which is um, as high as they had in 2007, which is a remarkable comeback, of course, for that company. Um, the next second one was actually Volkswagen with 8.5 million units, 8.6 million units, um, which was a remarkable 14 percent increase um, year over year. And Toyota went down a couple of percentage points. Um, specifically in the United States, they lost about 2.5 percent market share, again, partially driven driven by the um, disruption of their supply chain. So again, I think it's fair to say they will regain some of that market share. Um, however, um, will they regain the global sales crown? I don't think so, because GM has a much better exposure in the emerging markets, um, particularly in China, so that will help them. Um, I think the big challenge is probably for Volkswagen. Um, Volkswagen has a very high exposure to the European markets, and the European markets, in our estimate, are going to be the uh, worst performing markets um, of the major automotive markets this year, and, and that may hurt Volkswagen more than anybody else. So probably um, Toyota and Volkswagen may be head on head, but, but General Motors and our estimate will remain the leader of the world. Uh, you mentioned the German car makers again. Do you think they're going to perhaps diversify away from Europe, therefore, just really tackle China, get into China, tackle the, the Japanese car makers, and really focus on that the emerging market as their area for growth? It makes sense, doesn't it? Absolutely. And I, I think what, what, what is interesting, actually, we talked earlier um, about the declining sales in China in January. What is remarkable is actually that the luxury car segment in January did still grow. And that is a segment that is mainly benefiting the German makers, of course, um, with a fantastic brand image here in China. Um, so the, the upscale German car makers such as Daimler and, and BMW and, and Volkswagen are still doing very well in that segment and I think will benefit from that trend here in China as well. Eva, no pressure. Which car do you drive and which car would you like to drive this year? <laughs> I, uh, personally, I drive uh, General Motors, um, but I'm a big fan of Porsche, and uh, I remain a big fan of Porsche. Sticking to his German roots. Many thanks for that, uh, Eva Newman there, joining us there from Shanghai. Always go with the Porsche. Now, up Thanks. next, Will